Welcome back to Shondo RC. I know it's been a while since I've been here on the channel, but with all this Corona stuff going on, uh, in the beginning when they first fired up that Corona restriction stuff, um, our club was pretty much shut down for a month or two because we weren't allowed to have large gatherings. Uh, and it got kind of boring and stuff, and we kind of lost interest for a while. Some of us did and, and uh, picked up other hobbies. Um, and of course, I had a couple of health issues that kept me from interest of being able to continue the channel for for a while but but I'm back now and uh, I saw a, a need for me to get back on here uh, as people have been asking questions about how to do certain things on this uh, OpenTX system. Uh, the question I got yesterday from an individual was how do I set up throttle cut? That's a very good question and that is extremely important. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. One thing you uh, have to understand is it's extremely important to have things like throttle cuts and fail safe set on your aircraft for safety reasons. Uh, throttle cuts are a switch you can assign to uh, your throttle channel that will allow you to override the throttle gimbal in the event that you bump that gimbal when you're holding the aircraft or working on the aircraft so that the throttle doesn't inadvertently start your prop causing injury or damage. Uh, so today on OpenTX, I'm just going to go ahead and, and briefly show you how to set up throttle cut on your aircraft. Uh, and then I'm probably going to do another video after that that's going to be about fail safes. Um, that video I'm going to edit. I'm going to try to edit or attempt to edit as I've bought some software to try to make the channel look a little more interesting. I still got to come up with logos and other stuff that you, you do on YouTube, I guess. But, uh, but with that said, I think let's get started and let's uh, show you how to set up your throttle cut on your aircraft. Pretty simple to do. Uh, today I'm using the Tyrannus, uh, the 2019 Plus. Um, now, keep in mind that setting up this throttle cut is extremely easy to do and this is probably something you should do on all your aircraft. So, I'm going to show you how to do it. I've already got it set up on this specific airplane that's in here, but I can still show you how to set it up again anyway. So, let me turn the radio on. Welcome to <clears throat> And my aircraft that's selected on there is going to be a carbon cup. Now the first thing you need to do is you need to access all your pages. And of course to do that you're going to hit menu. And once you get to this list you'll see the star of the selected aircraft that you have. And then from that point on you can start hitting pages. So what we want to do is we want to keep paging over till we get to a page called special functions and there it is and you can see I've already got mine set up to override channel 1 and channel 1 is my throttle channel on this specific plane and on most of my planes for that matter um, but I've got it set up if you notice on there twice because it's for two specific switch positions as you know most uh, of the FR Sky radios most of their switches are three position switches so you've got three positions um, the one position is set up automatically to uh, allow me to have throttle management and the other two positions on that switch I set them up as you can see right there to uh, be a throttle cut and I did that on purpose because if I ever have to flip the throttle cut I don't want to miss and, and, and go all the way through that switch from one position to another which would turn the throttle back on had I not set that position to throttle cut as well so if you'd load this right there, you're going to see the uh, special function one, SF1. I set that to the SA switch. Now the SA switch is this switch right here. They usually, um, they usually go ahead and mark the switches. You can see it says SA right there. And it's a three position switch. So in the middle, if you look, when I switch it to the middle, that SA um, dash becomes highlighted. That dash means the switch is in the middle position. If I switch it all the way down, then the SA with the down arrow becomes highlighted. If I switch it all the way up, there's nothing. All the way up means my throttle's on and active. Um, if the switch is in the middle, I've set it to override channel 1, and that will cut my throttle. If I screw up and go past the middle all the way to the bottom, that is also throttle cut. So that's why you see two different uh, throttle cuts right there on that specific switch is because it's a three position switch and I don't want the throttle to work at all unless it's in one single position. Any other position throttles off. So to set that up 
is, is fairly simple. So what you would do, and then we're going to go ahead and we're going to go down to special function three. We're going to pretend SF1 isn't there and SF2 isn't there, but I don't want to delete them because they're already set up for my aircraft. So what we're going to do is you're going to take your little scroll, scroll wheel or your buttons, whatever you have to scroll down, and we're going to scroll to SF3 and press enter. Now what that does is that moves me over to the slot to be able to select what switch I want to assign this override to. So when you hit enter again, because remember in my previous videos I've always explained to you, you cannot make any changes unless it's blinking. Now if I take that switch, if you look, and I take that switch, that same switch, and I go to the middle position, it'll select middle position. Now what it does from there is it has told this system that it will override channel one when the switch is in the middle position. Go ahead, hit enter again, and when you hit enter, that allows you to scroll over to the next one. Now, I can either leave it on override channel, whatever channel you have, so you can change the channels. So if your throttle's on channel three, you could hit enter, and you could change it to channel three, or whatever your throttle is, it doesn't matter. Or you can leave it on channel one if it's on channel one. But once I, figure out the channel that my throttle's on, then I can go over here to where this zero is, and I can set the value. In other words, when I move my stick, my throttle stick, uh, and I move it all the way down, that is the value that I want to set that to for a throttle cut. So in my specific instance, positive 100 is full throttle, negative 100 is zero throttle. So I would set this to negative 100, Hit enter again to stop it from blinking. And then I'd go over here to this little box that I've just highlighted on the right hand side. If there's no check mark in it, that throttle override will not work. The only way that works is if you scroll over to that box and you hit enter and you put a check box in it. Now what I have done is I have activated that function. If that check box isn't there, it's not activated. So I need to activate that function in, other, in order for that throttle cut to work if I flip that switch. So now what I need to do is I need to go ahead and set up the other special function for the down position of that switch as well so that I can have two positions that are throttle cut on that three position switch. So to do that, we're going to go ahead and hit exit and it's going to go back to the left hand side so I can go back down to the special function number and I'll hit the special function, enter, and that moves me over to the slot where I can select what I want to put there, which switch. And then I hit enter again so that it blinks and I'll take my SA switch and I'll flip it down. So what I've done is I have basically set up two functions there to where in the middle and the down position of that switch will kill throttle on channel number one. So you have to do the same thing on this one. You have to mask it. So you just go over here, scroll over to the zero. I have to make that negative 100 because again, for me, on the specific airplane and most of my airplanes, negative 100 is no throttle. Some of you guys may have yours reversed or reversed improperly in your radio, and you may have to be positive 100 to shut it off. I don't know. It all depends on how you've set it up there. But we're going to go ahead and select 100, hit enter. Then we go over to the box to activate it. And then we can hit exit. Okay, now I've set that switch up so every time... I go to the middle, my throttle's cut. If I go to the down, my throttle's cut. If I go up, nothing happens and I've got throttle that I can control with the gimbal. So that is how you set up uh, a special function switch for throttle cut. Now special function uh, switches are not limited to throttle cut only. You can do just about anything. You can make a switch to where when you flip it, it starts playing music. If you've got music on your SD card, or do various other things. You know, they'll, they'll, uh, you can use some of the sound files that are on your SD card that come with the OpenTX automatically. Uh, like for me, I have a, uh, some of my airplanes, when I flip the switch for flaps, it'll say flaps down. And then if I flip it all the way down, it'll say landing mode, you know, things like that. And you can set up all those functions by, let me give you an example. You can hit special function five, hit enter, go over to the switch that you want to choose, hit enter. So it's blinking, uh, pick a switch. I'll use SD in this case. Hit enter. I can go over where it says override. 
Now override is just what it picks by default, but if you click enter and that starts blinking, you can change that to anything. Instant trim, that's pretty cool. Uh, I'll get into that in a later video, instant trim. But that, that's really cool, especially if you've got an airplane that's like whacked up in the air and it's like <laughs> you can't hardly control it because the trims are so far out and if you take your fingers off the gimbals to switch the trims, uh, your plane's going to go out of control. Well, instant trim can help you get out of that situation in some cases. You can just uh, flip a switch when that plane's uncontrollable in the air. You force your, your gimbals to get the plane to fly straight and flip the switch while your gimbals are forced and it will trim that airplane wherever you have those gimbals. So that, that'll get you out of a big uh, situation. It has me in the past, but um, you got things for like timers or you can set your timer on switches and um, I mean volume control. Like for me, I've got my volume control set default in the, in the radio to where it's on a slider so I can go up or down. I can listen to it or not. Set fail safes. Play sounds. So yeah, play a track. Like I said, if you've got a, a, a song on there or something like that on your SD card, you could play the track. So like if you got your plane in the air and, and, you're, and you're really up there tearing it up, you want to fly some really cool maneuvers, but you want a song to be playing on your radio while you're doing it, that, that would be what that's for. And you'd go over here and you would like pick the track. I don't have a track. These are just default sounds that are in my, in my system that aren't actual songs or anything like that. But, but that's how that works. I mean, so, um, Special functions is pretty cool to be able to do a lot of things, but mostly all I use it for specifically is overriding channels because it's important, I think, to be able to um, cut my throttle, especially when I'm uh, especially when I'm taxiing back to me from the runway and I got to pick up my plane and carry it back to the bench. Um, and I've got my radio in my hand or it's dangling from my neck strap. You know, the last thing you want is that that throttle gimbal to hit your shirt. Uh, your belly or your chest or you to bump it with your hand or something like that and that throttle will go to full throttle while you're carrying the airplane. You don't want that to happen so throttle cuts of course are very important. I hope this has helped you out or whatever and I'm going to try to gear this channel to like I said basic uh, flying. Uh, this is not a channel that I had created specifically for doing anything that's advanced. Uh, this is kind of to help the 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 basic user who's never used this system before get his plane up and running. Uh, this is definitely not a heli uh, helicopter channel. I don't know anything about helicopters. I fly fixed wing aircraft. I just know that it took me forever to learn how to use the OpenTX system because a lot of the videos out there, is, as well as most of you guys already know, when you look up how to do something out there, uh, they're talking to you like you're a rocket scientist, like you should already know certain things. And you don't. You wouldn't be looking for videos if you knew how to do it. So. You look for videos because you don't understand. And, and that's what I hope to do is be able to put things in, in a little more layman's terms so you can understand it a little bit better. I will be doing a series here uh, probably in the future that's going to go from start to finish on setting up an aircraft. Um, from, from updating your radio all the way down to binding your, your uh, FR Sky receivers. Uh, to setting up your aircraft, all your functions, your flaps, and all that stuff. And I'm going to try to put it as basic as possible so you guys can get up and flying. My goal is to do it basic so that after you learn how to do the basics, you can learn all the advanced stuff on your own. You just need an understanding of the radio and OpenTX. Again, I hope that this video has helped you, whoever it was out there that asked for this, uh, for this uh, uh, to be done. Um, if you have any other questions at all, please feel free to comment at any time. It usually is the weekends by the time I'm able to answer some of those questions due to a work schedule, but I will always answer your questions to the best of my ability. If I don't know the answer, I'll go find it and I'll put it in terms where we can understand it together. If you like what you saw, go ahead and hit subscribe and like and stay tuned for the next video.